Hey guys, D'Angelo here. This is my rant on Disney XD. A few people requested that I do a rant on Disney XD. So, here you go. Today's rant on Disney XD. Before we get started, I'd just like to say, who in the right mind would get rid of Toon Disney? I love Toon Disney. It was great, and it just showed us nothing but great cartoons. Now all of a sudden, some idiot decided to change the name to Disney XD. Wow, yeah, that's just great. Anyways, let's get started. Let's talk about their recent live action shows and their cartoons. And I gotta tell you, all five of their live action shows I'm gonna be talking about in this rant, they are terrible. They're as bad as Disney Channel's live action shows of today. Man, I thought Disney Channel was bad. Their live action shows are even worse. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Let's start off with uh, Zeke and Luther. This show is about two best friends who one day wants to become one of the greatest skateboarders of all time. I will say this. This show is original, but it's not going to cut it. This show does not do anything for me. Like I said, this show is original, but this show sucks. It's boring uninteresting is cheesy and corny as hell and it just has so much stupidness and idiotic crap in the show I remember watching one episode titled The Haunted Board where Zeke and Luther they get this skateboard that apparently is haunted and <laughs> I couldn't watch the whole episode I could only watch half of it so before the commercial break the one scene where Zeke, after Zeke throws away the haunted skateboard into the garbage truck, he jumps out of his bed quickly and he just slowly pulls the the bed sheets off his bed. And I cor of course I knew this. It was going to be the haunted skateboard in his bed. And he's just like, ah! I mean, the guy was afraid like he saw a pile of worms in his bed. I mean, he's just screaming to the top of his lungs. And what really grinded my gears was after he screamed, he's like, oh, what? Like, you wouldn't be freaked. Hell no, I wouldn't be freaked. Dude, you're screaming over a freaking skateboard. I mean, yeah, it's haunted, but come on. That is so cheesy and corny. Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, I'll be a little terrified. Terrif yeah, terrified, but I wouldn't be as scared as you were screaming at the top of my lungs. I'd be like, oh, Hey, man, I thought I got rid of you. I got rid of you, man. Something like that. But come on, man. Screaming to the top of your lungs. That's just stupid. And I heard that in one episode of this show, uh, towards the end, uh, Zeke pulls, like, Luther's, one of his armpit hair. And for the rest of the episode, they're fighting over it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is one of the most stupidest, cheesiest stuff I have ever heard. <laughs> it is so stupid that it just will makes you laugh so hard because it just doesn't make any sense. They act like they was fighting over some food. Y'all not fighting over Pop-Tarts or Toaster Strudels? That's like two guys fighting over a booger, which is really disgusting and takes stupidity to a whole new level. <laughs> Man, this this show is stupid. I, I can't watch more of this show, people. I mean, I'm not going to waste my time trying to watch more episodes to see if it'll get better. It's not. The epi seeing the one episode I watch, what's the point? Anyways, this, this show sucks, man. It needs to go down the drain. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the next show, uh, Pair of Kings. The show stars Mitchell Musso and... Doc Shaw, who's on the Sweet Life on Deck for a little bit on Disney Channel. Okay, and this show is filmed before a live studio audience. I don't see how, because this show is not funny at all. I would say that it's filmed by a recording studio audience, but whatever. Anyways, this show is about two 16-year-old twins who were raised by their aunt and uncle in Chicago. And then this guy named Mason, who's the royal advisor to a throne of an island of Kinko. He shows up at their high school and they relocate to Kinko and they become the joint kings of the island nation. Uh, the same with Zeke and Luther. 
I do find the show original. It is original because I never seen a show about two twin brothers who end up being kings on an island. But again, this show sucks. It's it is original, but it's boring, uninteresting, and cheesy and corny at the same time. <laughs> there is nothing funny about this show at all. And also, how are Bradley and Boomer uh the the sixteen year old twins, how are they twins? They they look nothing alike and one is Caucasian, one is African American. Seriously? Oh my gosh, that is so stupid. <sighs> But anyways, along with Zeth and Luther, this show also needs to go down the drain. Um, here it says that Mitchell Musso was involved in the DUI arrest, and it has put the show's future in jeopardy. Let's hope so, because this show sucks. I cannot see this show being on Disney XD any longer. All right, let's move on to the next show. I'm in the band. I gotta tell you, this show makes rock and roll music look like a big disgrace in the music genre. Okay, and this show is a part of It's a Laugh's Laugh production. It's a Laugh's production production. Just like Hannah Montana and Ant Farm and all those other crappy Disney shows they have today. Seriously? More like It's Not Funny at All Productions because this show is not funny. How is this funny? Can you tell me? Anyways, this show is about a 15-year-old boy by the name of Trip Campbell who lives in Los Angeles, California. And his dream is to become part of his favorite rock band. So he wins a radio contest and he has dinner with his favorite rock band named the Iron Weasel. First of all, what kind of name is that for a rock band? And second, like this shit is ever going to happen in real life. There's no way a teenager is going to win a, a, a contest and sooner or later become a lead guitarist of his band okay that is never going to happen this show is terrible it's not funny at all it's unoriginal <laughs> boring and it makes you go what the hell am I watching and it's definitely cheesy and corny at the same time really whoever thought of this show should get their ass kicked <laughs> cause this doesn't make any sense Anyways, let's move on to the next show, Mr. Young. It's a Canadian television series. Uh, this show is about a 14-year-old teenager by the name of Adam Young. And he's a teacher at this high school called Finnegan. And he becomes friends with a guy named Derby and a girl named Eco. And he has a crush on the girl. And apparently the girl doesn't notice. Wow, okay. Whether she's brain dead as a box of rocks or she just think he's completely weird. How can a girl not know when a guy has a crush on them? The same with the guys. Guys and gals should know when a person has a crush on them. I mean, come on. It's that simple. Um, first of all, the same with I'm in a band. Like this shit is ever going to happen. There is no way on earth that a teenager is going to be a teacher of his own high school. Really? that is so stupid that is so stupid are you kidding me anyways all I gotta say about the show is it's unoriginal uninteresting boring so damn mediocre and it is so damn corny cheesy as hell this, I, I could not take the show anymore and I, <laughs> I, I I can't do it I just can't do it oh my gosh can can Disney XD can just have one just one good live action show please that's all I ask moving on to the next show kicking it this show looks like a the Karate Kid remake except it's a television show ah so they got Jason Earl Earls in this show he's not funny in this show at all he was funny in Hannah Montana as Jackson but he's not funny in this show I gotta tell you Anyways, this show is about Jack, who's a new kid in town, and he's a skateboarder. And it's all about Dojo and stuff, and he be, he's part of this group, and he meets new friends, including Milton David, Krupnik, Jerry Martinez, Eddie, and a girl by the name of Kim Crawford, who is a tomboy who loves karate, and Jack has a crush on. And she is cute, but I... 
I can't watch this show anymore. Um, I only watched one episode. Thank God. This show, the first episode, is 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 terrible. It's boring, uninteresting, and is so damn mediocre. I I I'm sorry. I couldn't do this anymore. Anyways, let's move on to the cartoons. On Disney XD, of course, they have Naruto Shippuden. I love Naruto since day one. Back in 2005 on Cartoon Network's Toonami. The Shippuden series is excellent. Naruto and Sakura's relationship is giving, getting even stronger as their friendship goes. I love it. And I think Naruto and Sakura would make a cute couple. I think they would make a better couple than Sasuke and Sakura. I mean, nothing offense, no offense to the Sasuke Sakura fans, but I'm just saying. And plus, how can Sakura, and especially Eno, how the hell can they still be in, in love with Sasuke? I mean, you're still in love with a guy that betrayed everyone and betrayed the whole Kohage village. That's just stupid. Really? That's like being in love with a serial killer. Really? Cut that out. Girls, come on. Y'all, y'all know y'all like Naruto. Who doesn't like a guy with whiskers and blue hair and with blonde spiky hair? Plus, Naruto, I think, would be better for Sakura because he's just a nice guy. Sure, he can be an idiot, but he likes to goof off and stuff. But he would treat, you know, Sakura like a queen way better than Sasuke. And personally, I never liked Sasuke since day one. I mean, even though him and Naruto were friends, I just didn't like the way he called him a loser and, you know, treat him like dirt and stuff. It's like, for real? So... Sasuke is nothing but a big F you to Naruto and Sasuke, Sakura and the others. He has nothing but a big F you attitude, so screw him. But the Naruto Shippuden series is excellent. It, are they working on a new Naruto series? Because it's already October and I haven't seen a new Naruto Shippuden um, episode for a new season. So let me know if they're working on a new series or whatever. Maybe they're gonna wait till next year in January for the show to be on Disney XD. But I can't wait that damn long. Anyways, let's move on to the next show. Kip but Kip Bukowski, Suburban Daredevil. Oh my gosh. At first when I first saw the previews, I thought I wasn't gonna like this show because I thought it was gonna be as bad as the as some of today's modern cartoons. But I grown to like it and it's very interesting. I started getting into the episodes, and this show is great. I like this show. So right on, Kip Patowski. Keep up the good work. Jolly good show. And I like his friend Gunther. He reminds me of a younger version of Owen from the Total Drama series. Um, you know, like I said, I like Jimmy Two Shoes. Um, it's a great show. It's, it's by far one of the best um, Canadian shows, especially for Teletoon. That I have watched and it is great. I love the show. And then there's Kid vs. Cat. The same with uh, Kid Bukowski. I started getting into this show. It's a great cartoon. And I'm going to continue watching it whenever I have time. And uh, the show reminds me of Tom and Jerry, except, you know, it's Boy vs. Cat. But it's a pretty good show. Besides Disney XD, it is a bad channel if you count the five live action shows I listed. But at least they have a variety of good cartoons. And at least they show reruns of other cartoons like X-Men Evolution and uh, the Gargoyle series and Disney's Re- Recess. And they show Phineas and Ferb. So at least that's a good thing about that. So it's slightly better. The sister channel is slightly better than the original channel. I don't know what the hell happened to Disney Channel. Uh you know, at least Disney XD gives me a variety of good cartoons I like. Sure, their live action shows are crap, just like Disney Channel of today. But at least Disney Channel isn't showing just good, two freaking animated shows. Screw you, Disney Channel. Bull crap. Yeah, so uh, this has been my rant on Disney XD. Tell me what you think. Do you like any of the cartoon shows they have? What do you think about their live action shows? Do you think they are a load of crap? And so on. I'm D'Angelo. So on. So long.